My name is Marie Farrington. I'm an artist from County Kildare and my practice is primarily sculptural. Glossaries for Forwardness is a multi-platform project at the Museum Building in Trinity College Dublin. The project is curated by Rachel Botha and it incorporates site-specific sculptural and textile interventions in the space as well as a spatial audio installation in collaboration with sound artist Stanislav Valbel, a publication, a programme of talks and listening sessions and collaborative events with the Department of Ultimology and artist Anais Chabot. Glossaries for Forwardness arose from a year-long research residency that I did at Trinity Centre for the Environment and I worked with the Department of Geology at Trinity researching various geological sampling methods used within their labs and exploring ways in which such practices shape how landscape is represented and imagined. And through working in this geological context, my practice became quite invested in the relationship between landscape and memory. The works that I developed for the exhibition are responses to the building's interior. I developed a process of repurposing or inverting different geological sampling methods that I encountered on the residency, like thin sectioning, resin mounting, microscopic imaging, and translated these into ways of making sculptural work in the studio. What these works all have in common is an attempt to treat the architecture as a geological specimen or an environmental archive and use very small or intimate human gestures to create charged spaces where the geological actions that formed the materials of the building like layering and stacking and folding become concentrated in the act of making. And through this process of acting on materials and also sometimes allowing them to act on each other, I became interested in how making can be thought of as a geological gesture or um, interested in how the studio alludes to a geological site in that both are defined by this continuous tension between accumulation and erasure. The exhibition Glossary for Forwardness isn't your typical exhibition experience. Uh, the museum building isn't a white cube space, it's a Gothic Ruskin piece of architecture. So when curating this exhibition, it was quite a unique experience. We had to be quite sensitive with how we integrated the work and displayed the work in this building. And I worked at Black Church Print Studio in Tampa Bar to produce a lithographic print and that was developed by taking tracings of the veins in the marble columns and then overlaying them on each other. And there's a really nice geology to this process because you're working on a stone slab and really the process is based on a material resistance between water and oil which produces this kind of ghostly image. I worked with Stash on the sound piece, which is called Core Sample. Oh, 
of this project, or at least for the forwardness, we, we had this idea to use music not only as an illustration that creates a certain attitude in the space or it's a soundtrack for an exhibition in a way. The sound is site specific for the building, so there is six basic sounds in the samples, in the, in the loops. Uh, they are corresponding with different materials that the building is made from, different stones. And then I work with a FM synthesizer, that's frequency modulation synthesizer. So each sound at the beginning uh, is then modified with modulators, velocity, different filters and so on and becomes something else. I was very curious and this we developed, me and Mari, while working together, that actually for this project music could be also an illustration of her method of methodology of working and also an illustration on, on the building itself. It's then site-specific. Although working within a concept of sculpture, many of my works emphasise their own flatness or exist at an intersection between object and image. The large works that hang from the first floor were made to be displayed in pairs and they're photographs taken from a microscope of thin sections. I wanted to layer the materials of the architecture and the materials of the sculptures so these pieces combine samples of Connemara marble and olivine rich stone and they're printed on a material called permatrace, which is a kind of drafting film used in field work. In the context of visibility and display, my hope is that by leaning into subtlety, the works require something of the viewer, like a kind of act of participation where the act of looking becomes inherent in the encounter with the materials. The exhibition is accompanied by a publication by Design Collective Models and Constructs and this includes texts by Dr Quentin Crowley, Annika French and a text that I developed in the format of a glossary. So there's lots there which resonates with me in terms of like the processes and the materials. I suppose what's really special about it is the meaning behind these things and the juxtaposition of different materials and how they're positioned in relation to the building. Um, and how they frame things in the building and encourage this kind of dialogue between the observer and the building and the natural environment. The building, I mean, for instance, was created in the 1800s and it's still present today. So the people who created this are no longer around. The whole concept, I suppose, about museum collections as well and curation of museum collections and how we can travel and see the world and experience the world around us by visiting a museum and visiting the collection. Glossaries for Forwardness is an invitation to reimagine human relations to land. I want to pose questions around how we can go about revising and reframing how we correspond with the natural environment, especially at this crisis point that we find ourselves at. The idea of landscape as opposed to land implies a framing and it incorporates the act of looking into the idea of land. And within this, there is an opportunity to encounter and engage with nature, not as an outside observer, but as an implicated participant. Geological practice has this wonderful openness to process and encounter and to interdisciplinarity. By working so directly with geological sampling, I want to enable landscape to participate in its own representation and display. And in doing this, 
hopefully encourage an awareness of the affinities and crossovers that lie behind the structures we use to imagine the world.